Hello everybody, um, this is going to be a how-to video on how to put your images in your APA paper. Um, I was finding in our textbooks that it's not very clear what we're supposed to do, so I decided to do some research and create a little step-by-step -step, uh, you know, procedure for you that you can follow so you can put images on your essay. So uh, this, is the, this is what I found so far in our textbooks. Uh, excuse all the clicking. This is from our PSM textbook. If you see right here, it says visuals. Uh, this is on page 197 of our PSM. It says visuals. APA classifies visuals as tables and figures. Figures include graphs, charts, drawings, and photographs. That's where we are. So uh, when you include your picture, whether it be a screenshot or a copy of the advertisement or, or the uh, political cartoon, whatever it is that you're bringing in, you're going to have to label it a figure. Now, uh, all of you are required to include one, so you will, you will then, uh, after you label it figure, then you will have to give it a number. Uh, each, each one gets an Arabic numeral, which means just basic one, two, three. So you would say figure one. And then you have to provide a clear title. The title would be the name of the thing itself. Okay. Now, if uh, if it's an advertisement, you use the name of the of the advertisement. You use that. If it's a screenshot that you take from a speech, you have to give it a title. So you would title it according to that moment that you caught on screen. Uh, the label and title should appear on separate lines above the table flush left and double spaced. So above the picture, above the image, you have to write figure one, period, and then the title. Below the table or image, give its source, basically where you got it from, in a note. So you see right here, they give you an example of what a note looks like. You actually write the word note in italics with a period, and then you give the source. Um, Usually in the note, you also uh, would analyze it and kind of point to the key points that um, this image is giving you. However, for this essay, you don't have to do that. You only have to give the source. Um, you're not analyzing it any more than uh, what you're doing in the essay, so you don't have to say anything else in the note. But if you notice here, and I'm sure you can look in our textbooks, there is no picture of what that looks like. And uh, for a lot of us, we learn by visuals. So we need to see what this looks like in order to do it properly. So then I went online. And I did some research. And I found this website. So this is a sample uh, APA paper. And they go page by page. And they tell us what everything is supposed to look like. And what it says here is that uh, it's a sample one experiment paper. Um, and then in parentheses it says, the numbers refer to numbered sections in the publication manual. And so you see sometimes in these gray boxes, it says establishing a title 2.01, preparing the manuscript for submission 8.03. What does that mean for you? Well, what that means is this website is using material from the textbook uh, publication manual and it's giving us the section numbers so that if we wanted to go and see what that meant, we can go to this book, Publication Manual, go to this section, 2.01, and get more help. The manual they're talking about is this one, Publication Manual. Now, I do not recommend investing in this manual unless you have a, uh, your major focuses on this manual. Um, if your major uses this manual a lot, I would, I would recommend investing in purchasing a manual all for yourself. Okay, the PSM is great, but it doesn't have everything. It'd be better to have the manual. But either way, what we can do is in this example paper, we can go down to where they talk about images. Now, one thing you need to understand, images in APA are at the very end. So I'm going to scroll through the whole essay. This is a really good website, by the way. Um, I'm sure you can see the URL address at the top. Uh, you can come and check it out later at another time. I'm going to scroll down, and you see here's the references. They start talking about references. And it's not until after the references that we start to see visuals. 
Uh, now we have tables, we don't have pictures, but it's the same idea. This is where the visuals are going to go. So they have to go all the way at the end of the essay, on the, at the very end, after the references. Um, at, you see here they label it table one. For us, it's going to be figure one. Okay. Then they give you the whole table. So you would have to copy and paste the whole image, right? And then underneath it, you have this note. And it tells us where it's from. Now, for you, that's enough. You just need to tell me where it's from. This is not a major research paper. You're not doing scientific study. You're not conducting any experiments. So you don't need to put anything else, OK? But we do need to get our images in the correct place. So I'm going to go back now to my essay. Uh, this is still the first draft. It is not perfect. So uh, now I know where my in images go. I'm going to go all the way to the end. Here's my reference page. My image has to go after this. So I'm going to hit enter a couple of times just to leave a little space. Insert, page break. Now it said above the image, and, I, and the rules are here too. Above the image, we have to uh, give it a label, right? So our label is not going to be table, it's going to be figure because it's a picture. So I have to give it a, a label and then the title. Okay, so let me do that. Figure one, let me scroll this up so y'all can see. Eglin's best, it's so EB advertisement. Okay, and now I need to put the image. Okay, so my image, where's my image? Here it is. Uh, I'm going to copy it. I had to scan it because I couldn't find it online. And I'm going to paste it. Now you see it's not centered. Okay. Uh, one of the rules uh, for APA is that the image must fit inside the margins. Well, that makes perfect sense. Okay. So if your image is really large, you're going to, like for example, mine was from a magazine. It was really big. But I'm going to have to reduce the size because if I go to the bottom of the page, look, there's nowhere at the bottom for me to leave notes. So I'm going to have to reduce the size. Okay. I can't, I can't leave it that size. Um, all right. So now I need to put some notes <coughs> at the bottom. So let me see if I can get to the bottom. I have to go all the way down. Okay. Now I have to write the word note, period. Now remember the word note is in italics. And I have to give the source. So I have to say from, and I'm just going to do this easy. Copy my reference. I know my reference is correct. So I'm just going to copy that here. I'm going to get rid of the extra page because I don't have anything on that last page. And that's it. Now, um, so now it's on the correct place. Now it has a note underneath it. Uh, it has a label at the top, right? Figure one. Um, and it's good. Now what I need to do is inside my essay, the very first time I mention the advertisement, which is in the intro, uh, who knew Eglin's Best most recent advertisement in the friendly fam family friendly magazine, Family Fun, Okay, that's the end of the mention, right? I'm mentioning it. So at the end of that, I have to say C figure one. I have to type that in parentheses right there. And what this is telling my reader is the, the, the first time that I mention the advertisement, I'm telling them go see figure one and you will see what I'm talking about. So they will read that sentence and go, oh, okay. And then they'll scroll down. There's figure one. And they'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, and so now I'm going to click save. So my work is saved. And that's it. That's how you put images into your references, uh, into APA. Every image gets its own page. So if you ever in the future write an APA paper and you have multiple images, maybe like a graph and an image and a photo and a, I don't even know, all kinds of things, each one gets its own page. Okay, this is a good thing to remember. So some good sources for us that we found, uh, apastyle.org. Uh, this is a great website. It gives you an APA paper, and it explains things on the side, which is wonderful. 
Uh, APAStyle.org uh, also tells you how to purchase a manual. You can purchase it from them. I believe you can buy one in the bookstore here at TAMU. Um, it's a good investment to make if your degree uh, focuses on APA style. But this is what the book looks like. Um, and now we have an essay that's got our source in it, a picture. So we're getting better. All right. If y'all have any, any any questions about this, uh, please feel free to email me, contact me. But now that the video has been created, you are responsible to have an image in your essay. It is required for your essay. So um, please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any problems. And I hope this helped you know how to put images into your APA paper. Thank you so much.